YouTube, what is up? I am Taylor, welcome back to my channel. I'm unboxing another box today because you all like when I unbox things. Oh, and yeah, I got my second dose of the COVID vaccination, vaccine. Words, words are hard. I'm feeling dizzy and lightheaded already from the side effects. I, I'm not, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm super excited, I'm super happy. And uh, nothing's gonna wreck my day today. Not even, most likely, <laughs> a mystery box from Torpedo Comics. If you've gone back through my history and watched any of my old unboxings, one of my first ones I ever did was Torpedo and they were absolute garbage. However, I've seen other folks open them, Torpedo boxes recently, and they look like they've gotten better. So I gave this one a shot. It was for an ASM 300 signed, you know, pretty high value comic. 100 boxes, 100 bucks, and uh, is there a photo? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. All right. I did not win. But they gave you this. Hang on. Yeah. That's a tease. All right. Um, also, a waste of money. So they're 100 bucks. They're promising $150 in retail value, but, but Torpedo's value is kind of wonky and all over the place. I apologize for my dog barking in the background. I, uh, you know. Waffles, knock it off! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I would edit it out, but I'm not going to, because I'm lazy, and holy bubble wrap. All right. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. See if I can do this without jacking up the comics, which is no guarantees, man. Like, you'd think a comic company would learn not to... I mean, I get you have to protect the comics, but this is probably not the best way to do it. Just wrap it loosely... Use some painter's tape, make everyone's life easy, and let's go from there, huh? All right, anyways, got a stack of comics here, and they, like I said, Torpedo's retail pricing is just that. It's retail, and apparently people in Vegas will pay stupid money for comics because their retail tends to be very, very high. So, I don't know what order to do this in. I'm just going to start here and go from there and probably do it backwards, and we'll see what we have, so... <laughs> That's a winning start. <laughs> yeah, all right. Like I was saying, this is Cyber Force Zero. They're saying it's a $10 comic, so... And they're saying it's a 9.2. One of those things may be true, and it's probably not the $10 part. We'll see. Shiny. The Flash, the Quick and the Dead. Okay, they're saying it's another $10 comic. Apparently nothing at Torpedo's priced under $10 because those are dollar bin comics. They really kind of just are. All right, that's better. I mean, it may not be worth a whole lot, but at least it's a you know older comic. And they're saying 15 on this. That might be closer to accurate. It's an old house of mystery. It's got robots and forearms and a drive-in theater. A theater is where people could go to watch movies before COVID. A drive-in is where people that had cars would go before... Buildings were invented. I'm pretty sure that's right. That's science, right? All right. That one's not bad. All right. Superboy. They're saying it's another $15 comic. So according to them, we're up to $45 in value. We're probably closer to $20. But it is what it is. There's the Red Mist. I doubt there's anything key about this. And they're saying it's a 4 -0. That's probably pretty accurate. Their grading's not bad. As far as, like, the condition of the comics, just their pricing is nuts. All right, there we go. Spawn, I don't know what issue this is. 106. They're saying this is 20. Again, that might actually be okay. Um, they're saying it's a 9.2. It looks... I mean, there's a, a couple non-breaking ticks, but it looks pretty clean. A little bit of color rub going on it, on, on it, which is not surprising given you know, the all-black, almost all-black cover. So... So far, it's better than the first box I bought for them, which was about a year ago. And that's, again, not saying much, but... Okay. Amazing Spider-Man Back in Black, number 539. Another $20 comic. I don't know this issue. This could be accurate. If you know, leave a comment down below. I mean, I could research it, but I'm not going to research it. I'm just going to film this in one and done and go enjoy my COVID-free lifestyle and wear a mask and be sensible. Because it still takes about two weeks, I guess, for this to actually do anything. So, oh, nice. Okay, Metal Men. 
not probably again. Okay, they're saying this is thirty, and I, I almost guarantee that's high because metal men have not been a thing, a popular thing, pretty much ever. So, yeah, whatever. It's still a cool cover. Uh, it's pink. It's metal men. <laughs> All right. This is not a $25 comic. I sold these on eBay, and I'm going to start to sound all cranky and shit like franchise kicks, but, like, here's the thing. Torpedo Comics is a company, and I have no problem holding them accountable for their pricing. Maybe they could sell this in a store at $25, but this is a $10 comic at best it, at this point. It's a it's a unknown comic slash uh, that Spider-Man booth slash maybe Street Level Heels LA trade variant. The Virgin variant goes from maybe twelve to fifteen. This is a ten dollar comic. All right, and this one, I know I've sold this one a couple times. It's a fifteen dollar comic, and they're saying fifteen, so that's actually pretty accurate. This is Marvel's Indigenous Voices trade variant. Uh, David Mack cover. I love the David Mack cover. I mean, it's a great cover. There's a first appearance of Demon something in here. I don't know, whatever. Not Demon Bear because that's been around forever, but like. There's some kind of first, minor first appearance in this one. And then last, and maybe least, I don't know, we'll see. All right, I don't know this one either. It's Batman number something, 612 uh, from 2003. They are saying this is a $35 comic. I would be shocked if it actually is. It's got a couple non-breaking ticks on it. It's not in perfect shape. It's... You know, it is what it is on this one. So here we go. A quick recap. This is a fine box. It's probably cl ish, getting close to a hundred bucks, maybe, but it's definitely not at the hundred fifty. So, Batman six twelve, Marvel's Indigenous Voices, Excalibur, Metal Men. Spider-Man Back in Black, whichever one, Amazing Spider-Man number 539. Spawn 106. Superboy, I don't care what number it is. <laughs> I don't. Mystery in Space, this is probably the, my favorite cover of the bunch. Ten Cent Goodness. Shiny Flash. And Cyber Force Zero, which probably should be better, remain upside down. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Will I get another torpedo box? Maybe. At this point, like if they get close to value and I still actually have a shot of winning, I can sometimes deal with that. It's just when like their last their first box like that I bought a year ago, they promised a hundred some dollars and it was like twenty five dollars at the retail and that was just garbage. This one's not quite garbage. It's not great, but it is a raffle ticket. I know what I'm in for. I'm a big boy now. I've been doing this for a year. Uh, that's depressing. I've been opening mystery boxes for at least a year. Not not saying that makes me any grand expert or anything. It just means I have a little bit more experience under my belt. And it is what it is on that one. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, for everybody. Have a good day. Go get vaccinated if you can. Stay safe. Wear masks even after you're vaccinated. All that crap. Don't be a dick. See ya.